Hi YouTube, it's been a long time since I've done any um, tutorials recently. So now I've uh, moved and I've um, got all my got all my uh, workshops up, and I've built another couple. Um, it's about time I concentrated on doing some um, some of the videos that I never got round to do. So okay, okay, this one is going to be um, different to what I normally do. Um, we're going to sh we're going to um, download a YouTube movie or YouTube clip or whatever, um, in so you can put it on your iPod, iPhone, PSP, or whatever. Okay. Now, what I'm using to help me do this is I'm using Microsoft f um, Framework uh, Microsoft Frameworks client for and Java download you might have you might be have you might have something different that will do that will do the same 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 thing just go ahead and use whatever whatever you're comfortable using okay now you want to go and open your internet browser and you want to um, go into uh, YouTube okay now we're in YouTube now select a movie I'm going to select select an upload that I done a while back there you go how to make quick match 2 okay now there's my movie and I want to download that onto my PC so what we're going to do is go up to the address bar and where it says YouTube we want to take out the YouTube and we want to type Voobies. That's V O O B for Bertie Y S. So that all that, there you go. Can you see it? Voobies up there. Okay. Now press return or enter, and it will open up a Voobies video page. Okay, as you can see here. Now you've got version one, two, three. I does it doesn't really matter which version you click on, but I'm just going to click on version one, and it will say download YouTube move. I mean download video. So we're going to click on download video, and it'll, you might come up with this, but save. I'm going to click on save, save file. And that is, it should open up your um, file downloads. And as you can see, it's there. It always saves it un under the name Video Playback. Now, if you've got in your download file, if you've got more than one Video Playback, it will label them Video Playback one or two or three or so on. So, so lit, so they don't, you know, so you haven't got to keep replacing the file and what have you. Okay, so now that's been downloaded, we want to close all this down, just to make sure that it's there. There you go. There's a file, there's a movie that we just um, downloaded, and in this file, in this format, which is um, flash flash video, it's a bit pants. It's a bit pants, so we want to convert it to something different so we can use it. Now, what I'm doing, what I'm using for this is I'm using a little little neat program. And it's called Prism Video File Converter. Now it does it does it does what you want. Okay, it does does near enough all of it does near enough all um, video formats. But the good thing about it, it is it's easy to use. Okay, now you want to go ahead and open that, and it should should come out come up like this. And we're just gonna we're just gonna put this over there for now. Now the easiest way to get the um, to get the downloaded file into your video convert or Prism video convert is open up the f the folder that it that's containing the file and just drag and drop it in and there it is. Okay. Now we want to make sure that the save to folder. We want to make sure that 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 we've selected a folder. So we know where we where where the where it's been put after it's been converted, and video I mean output for, format. You can change. You've got all of these different ones from AVI to 
MPEG-4 iPod, MPEG-4 PSP or MPEG-4 iPhone. Well I'm going to go ahead and select WMV. You've also got encoder options. As you can see you can play around with all these. You've got your video options, you can resize or you can do whatever you need to. And you've got effects, you can do different types of effects and so on and so on. I'm not going to bother with these, I'm just going to do a basic plain um, convert to a Windows Media file. Okay, now I've made sure all my settings are correct. I just highlight, highlight it and I click on convert. And it's going ahead and converting. Quite a quick procedure, but if it's a longer, longer movie it might take a little bit longer and it also depends on what settings you're using okay now that is all done because it's got a tick a tick at the left so we can go ahead and close that down and now open up the fo the folder that, um, it, that the converted uh, video has been saved in and there we have the video on our PC and we can do what we want with it now as you can see it's all there and I can play it back as many times as I want a lot easier than having to keep going through YouTube and what have you okay I hope you um, found this um, found this um, interesting if you've got any questions you can comment me or if you've got my email address you can email me and I'll try and um, get back to you um, as soon as I can cheers